Hello, Fuddy. How are you all doing? Good to see you here. Thank you for joining my live. I'm sweating already. I've literally just got changed in literally in the nick of time because I've been filming Come Dine With Us. So I've been cooking and I just did the last bit of the video. So if you tune in, um, when is it? Friday, what day are we on? It's Wednesday today, in case anybody... I've lit the candle. I've got my drink with you as well. Connection with me, roof garden, to add to that. Is it working okay? It keeps telling me that my connection's unstable. It keeps freezing. I do apologise. I'm really sweating. We'll take it slow, so you'll have plenty of time to keep up with the pom-poms. So, uh, I'm sorry about the buffering. I don't know if I can do anything about that. It's the naughty Wi-Fi. Maybe a lot of people are trying to stream at the moment. Hello, I'm back, hooray. Good stuff. Okay, Whew. I'm glad I've got this over shirt on because honestly the sweat patch situation would be, would be very unpleasant to your eyeballs. Right, so let me take you through everything that you're going to need for your pom-poms. So what I thought we'd do is we'll make one together this evening if you're getting involved and then you can go away and make as many as you like. This is a really nice easy little craft that you can do of an evening. You can do it when you're watching your box sets or you can just do it if you're bored, senseless. Um, hello everybody, Luke's here, hello, hello mate. Um, so let me take you through everything you're going to need and then I'm going to give you like a minute to go and grab it from around your house in case you haven't got it with you or already. So you're going to need two toilet roll tubes or you can get a kitchen roll and cut it in half. That's the first thing you're going to need. Now if you haven't run out of toilet roll you can prise it out from the middle. So as you can see here you just need to get your finger in and work it out. Okay so that's what you need to do. Next up, you're just going to need a ball of wool. So hopefully you've got some wool lying around. If you haven't, the only thing that I can suggest to you is to use an old jumper maybe and try and unravel it. I don't know, maybe you could give that a go. You're going to need a piece of cardboard. Good job I didn't have my address on there. <laughs> and a pencil and a pair of scissors and something circular to draw around. So I'm going to use the top of the Pringles container. Right, let me just have a quick squiz of the comments while any of you want to go and grab the items that you're going to need. I'm going to need some help with this, so I'm glad you're all here to help me. Right, what are you saying? Got my pom-pom maker ready. Excellent, Julia, so you'll be good to go. And a rainbow project on the go, that sounds fab. Caroline is just knitting in Sheffield. Hello to you. Hope you're doing all right. Thank you, Yasmin. Hello in Canada, Mary. How are you doing? Hope you're well. And it's two o'clock in the afternoon from Glenda. Let me know where you're watching from, Glenda. <laughs> I'm sorry about what I said to do with the toilet roll. I, yeah, that's the only way I could describe it. Oh, it's freezing again. <laughs> it's not telling me it's buffering. I'm going to continue. We've got Louise, Anna in the house. Naughty Wi-Fi, I do apologise. What can I say? Hmm, okay. Hello in Norfolk. Let me just type. <laughs> hey, okay. Right, we better get cracking then before we start buffering again. Let me know what drink you've got on the go. So I'm gonna have a quick sip of the naughty one, just to get us in the mood. Mm. Honestly, make sure you tune in on Friday, because you're gonna wanna make one of those. And I'm so excited to see what Luke does for the starter, and Kate's been having some issues with meringues. I shouldn't have told you that, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, that's what's happening on Friday, so do tune in with us at 5 p.m. Look forward to seeing you then. Right, let's get cracking with this. Been keeping you for six minutes already. So we're going to take our ball of wool and then what I want you to do is take your two toilet roll tubes or your kitchen roll that's been cut in half and then we're going to start winding. 
So just um, just hold that bit, I think. <laughs> I'm making this up as I go along. I watched a tutorial. If you type in how to make pom-poms, the first one that came up, it's had like 5 million views. I've gone from that one. So I've never tried this method before. So it's tried and tested with you. So that's my excuse when it all goes wrong. So we're just going to start winding the wall around our toilet roll tubes. And while I do that, I'm going to have a little read of your comments. Let me just scroll you up a bit so I can catch up. Oh, wow, we've got people watching from everywhere. So we've got Essex, we've got Croatia, we've got Florida, Kevita, Anglesey, Cornwall, lovely. And then we've got Claire on the Baileys. We've got Diane on the white wine with ice, loving that. You know, I like a bit of ice in my wine as well. Luke's got cheese puffs coming. They're naughty, naughty, sound fab. Don is on the water. Right, so we I don't know when to stop. We want our pom-poms nice and fat, don't we? So let's just keep keep winding. Hell's Bells in Plymouth, hello. Right, let's just catch up with you. We've got, oh, hang on. <laughs> Sorry, I've lost track of where we were. Hello, Paul in Birmingham. Hello, Maggie. Right, do you think that's enough? Don't know. I apologise if I've missed anybody. I've lost track a bit here on the comments. Got Cardiff. <laughs> well, Luke, it's funny you should say that because I have got my mate here to help me this evening. Where is he? Let's see if I can show you. Here he is. And he's been being very naughty when I was trying to do the main course earlier. It was absolute chaos. If there's a cloud, cloudy thing going on, there was a burnt situation in the kitchen. Fire alarm went off. It's been all go. I think I might have done too much. I'm not sure, but we're going to leave that there. And then, yeah, we're going to snip that. <laughs> I can't remember what to do. So cut that off. And then we're going to take another piece. Just take about a foot long or so. And we're going to use that to tie this off. So are you keeping up all right if you're doing this with me? I don't want to go too quick or too slow. So let me know. Hello, Tracy in Adelaide. That's where my dad is from. I've got family there. Oh, we've got people from everywhere. This is so exciting. Hello, Catherine in Dublin. I feel like I should say something eurovision -y. I know. I don't think we're going to have the Eurovision this year. I'm gutted. Right. So as you can see, I've threaded that through. So you take your piece of wool and you put it through there. Are you with me? Hello, Zoe in Newcastle. Uncle C is busy tonight. He's He's got his um, group chat with the West Midlands Car Boot Association, so he can't take part in the lives, and I wouldn't trust him to take part in the lives either, so I'm afraid he's not going to be popping on this evening. Paul? Right. So, are any of you actually making this? Shall I just crack on? <laughs> All right, I'm going to carry on. So we've threaded that through. So now I'm going to tie this off. I'm going to wrap it around twice, actually, just to be on the safe side. This is probably where it's going to snap. Just wish me luck here. Right, tie that nice and tight. I might have to just go off camera slightly to pull this. Oh. Right, pull that in nice and tight. I'm going to double it round again. Hello, Alexandria in Southampton. Right. <laughs> so I'm saying, very dubious about this. Me too. Don't you worry. Right. So we'll tie that off nice and tight. Yay. We've got someone making it. I'm not sure how you say your name. Marv V. Maxi, I think it is. Crack on, says Maggie. Right, I'm cracking on. Right, so we'll tie that off. He said that about a thousand times. I do apologise. 
Hello from France. No, I've never seen a pom pom done this way before, apart from the tutorial that I watched um, just to see how to do this. So it'll be interesting, right? So we've tied that off and now we're going to cut either side. So you need your sharp scissors at this point and I've probably got blunt scissors. So we're gonna go in and just cut along that section. Felicity, I don't wanna know where you're watching me. You know I get the heebie-jeebies. Hello to your son and two daughters though. I hope you're all doing really well. Right, that's that. I've heard that you can make pom-poms on a fork and I will give that a go if um, I can figure out how to do it. You just wrap it around the forky bit. What's going on here? I don't know what that is. This looks really wrong. That should be tighter there, shouldn't it? I'm worried this is gonna fall apart. I'm gonna hold that and we're gonna cut this side. But I think, <laughs> I really think this is. <sighs> yeah, okay, let's do that bit. Same again, so up there. Right, we're left with that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, this, I didn't tie tight enough, I don't think. So this middle section, please don't fall apart when we're live. Let's just tie that round a bit tighter because honestly, I don't think that's meant to look like that. And it looks awful. <laughs> right, so don't panic. Tell you what it might be time for. Yes, tighter. <laughs> oh, too much wool, okay. Right, I'm gonna go in with just another piece around the middle, just to be on the safe side, because I don't know what I just tied that with. Like, it could have been anything, to be honest with you. Could have been like a part of the pom-pom. So I'm just gonna knock that off, and we'll hope for the best. Once this bit's out of the way, we're gonna speed up, so don't worry, we're nearly there. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I haven't got the glue gun on the go this evening. I have got the pom-pom maker with me, so if this does go wrong, we can resort to that, but I wanted to use something that you can all do at home without having to order anything in, so that was the thinking behind this. So I've just knotted that off, and we've got our two long pieces here, so we're gonna keep hold of those, and we'll be forgetting about the ones that we had from before, so let's just trim those two off. Okay, so there we go. That is the situation. Next up, let me just see if I can angle you down a tiny bit so you can see the tray in front of me. How's that? Excuse the um, lack of head, just for a moment. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna draw around our circle so you can use your glass or whatever you want to for this part. Okay, so pencil, where are you? Yeah, okay, so we'll draw around that. And you want to do two of these. Unless you've got the Pringles lid and then you only need to do one because we can actually use this. But if you're using a glass or something, draw two circles and we're going to cut those out. I'm making pom-poms if you've just tuned in. And I will post this once we're done so you can re-watch it if you want to have a go yourself. So we're cutting round our circle. <laughs> it does look deflated, but just you wait. You've got to have a little bit of faith. Well, I'm trying to. <laughs> right, so we've got our circle, and if you, as I say, don't have the Pringles lid, cut out two circles. And then we are going to make a hole in it. And just use your pencil for that. Oh, 
There we go. I'm just using some scissors that I got from Tiger. They were cheap and cheerful. But yeah, you do need to try and use sharp ones for this, because otherwise it's hard on your fingers. Okay, so not going great here. Oh no. Well, yeah, join the club. <laughs> so now we've got our, I don't even know what to call it, <laughs> our um, strands of wool that are all tied together. Just shake that out a little bit. And we want our two tassels here. Okay. And then we're going to thread these through the hole in our cardboard. Hello in Norway, hope you're doing well. Hello Louise and hello, oh I've lost you. Dolly Boat, where have you gone? Sorry, it's going too quick. Sorry, I lost your comment. Hello anyway, hope you're doing well. Right, so that is the situation now. So we've threaded that through and we are left with that. So we wanna shake that off. Shake it off, as Taylor Swift said. And we're going to squash it with the other circle that you've cut out or your Pringles lid, okay? So that's that. We're making a little sandwich and squeeze that like this. Now you will have seen just now that I'm doing this over a tray and that is because it can be a bit messy now. So you might wanna put something down and then what we're going to do is we're gonna trim all around that bit to get it into like a nice circular shape. How are we all doing if we're doing it? Hope you're doing all right if you're joining in. And I would love it if you can tag me in some pictures. So if you're watching now, take a photograph of what you're doing, or you just take a photograph of your screen, show me that you're watching, show me what beverage you've got if you like, and then you can share it on social media if you want to, or you can just send it to me in a DM, in a private message if you prefer. And if you do share it on your social media, tag me in it. So you can tag me in it on Instagram, or you can tag me in it on Twitter, and then I can have a look at what you're up to this evening as well and share that. And you can use the hashtag Mr. Carrington DIY. If it's Instagram you're using, I'm Mr. Carrington over there. It's the word Mr. because Mr. Carrington wasn't available. So it's M-I-S-T-E-R Carrington. Or you can tag me in my home account, which is Mr. Carrington Home. So we're just going to keep going around that. <laughs> what are you saying? Hello, Bridget, on the vodka and tonic. Very nice. Have you got ice and lemon in there? Instagram, so Mr. Carrington, M-I-S-T-E-R Carrington. And yeah, tag me in your pictures so I can see what you're up to. Or you can just take a picture of um, your screen, if you like, of the live and tag me in it. Mr. Carrington DIY. So now we've got that situation. Some bits look like they're a bit, I don't think I shook it out very well, but don't worry because what we're going to do now is open that up, shake it off. It's starting to look, <laughs> you say it's starting to look like a pom-pom. Still doesn't look like a pom-pom, does it? It looks awful. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do now is we've squashed it that way. We're gonna go the other way now. So. Take your two threads down to the base, actually to the top, say, like that, and then sort of shake it out the other way. I, I'm finding it hard to explain this bit, but you wanna go in the opposite direction to what we've just done, like that. And then we're gonna thread it through again. You know when you get to that point where you just think, should I give up? <laughs> We'll persevere. So where were we? So yeah, you want to try and get it the opposite of what you just had. And you'll know that it's the opposite because more bits should be poking out at the sides, if that makes sense. So see now we've got some overlap. Like and sub guys. Oh wow. Okay, so. That's that.
and we can now trim this bit around. Sorry, I'm going quiet. I'm trying to read the comments. Thank you, Mandy. I won't give up. We're going to persevere. Right, so we're going to trim off the excess again. Keep going. Thank you, Sabine. I think Kate is busy cooking this evening and she was going to tune in if she could, but I think she's still filming her come dine with us. So that's why she's not here at the moment. Excellent slice of lime. Cheers to you. Oh, and it's 4.50. Oh dear, that was my coffee. The tray just flipped. Excuse me, I've just got a situation. It's okay. Right, I am left-handed, correct. Oh, you think the cardboard ring needs to be a bit smaller? Yeah, that could be true. If it's not looking full enough, we might need to trim this down a bit and make it smaller. We could do that. Let's see how this turns out. Because yeah, the smaller the circle, the more full your pom-pom will be, if that makes sense. So I'm just trimming off these last few bits. Sat in the kneeling position and you know when the, uh, ow, the legs are starting to go dead. Oh. Let's just, that's better. Sorry about that. All right, let's shake that off and see where we're at. What do we think? I feel like it's looking fluffier now, isn't it? Give this a little, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just hoping it'll make it more ball shaped. Looks good, right, let's see how that is. Still a bit scraggly, isn't it? I've literally got a dead leg, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I do apologize. Oh my days. Oh, I could, like literally the blood's gone. All right, let me just sit like this for a bit. Oh, I should have done that in the first place, okay. What do we do? Shall I continue? I feel like it's a little bit scraggly around the edges. I'm not sure. Should we try one more? Thread it through one more time and trim it off. Oh, <laughs> my leg's tingling. Do you know when you get that situ situation? Like you've been sat on the toilet too long. Ah. Oh. We'll do one more. So shake it off. We threaded it through. Bit of ASMR for you. And right, last little sandwich. See, there's a few bits still. So we can trim that in again. See those little ones poking out? Those might be the ones that are making it look A bit uneven. Let me know if in your household anybody's had a go at cutting their own hair yet. I've seen lots of people doing it. A few people have been shaving their heads. And if you have, let me know how you got on. Right, how's that? There we go. I think that's all right. Now I'm saying that because you might think, well, you know, it's not perfectly round, but when you attach this onto whatever it is you're gonna be making, and I've got a few ideas for you. So one thing that you could do with this, pop back down here now. One thing you could do with this is you could try to make a cushion and Dainty Diaries has got a tutorial on how to do that. So you could head over to her channel and see how to make the um, cushion, pom-pom cushion. The other thing that you could do is you could make the pom-pom wreath that I did at Christmas time. Excuse me, that's the coffee. 
and you could have a go at that one as well. You don't have to make it festive, so you can make it for any time of year. I think they look really lovely. All year round, you can go for a really colourful one. That would look fab. The other thing you could do is add a few of these to the end, end of a blanket or a throw. So if you've already got a throw um, knocking about at home, you could do it to that. And the other idea I had was you could add some of these around the top of a basket, which I've seen um, and looks really, really nice. And you could make a mat. That is a great shout as well. So let us know in the comments if you've got any other ideas of things that you could make with your pom-poms. But I'd love it if you started to make some. If you do, do make sure that you tag me in your pictures. And I'm just going to catch up with some of your comments and have a quick squiz back. So let's see. I don't know how far to scroll up. My legs, are, I think my legs are okay now. You don't need the cardboard cycle. I have a pom-pom without all of that palaver. <laughs> there are other techniques you can use as well. There's one way you can wrap it around the cardboard, isn't there? And there's also um, the pom-pom makers. Shall I show you, um, while I'm going through the comments, let me show you the pom-pom maker in case you haven't used one of these before. So we'll do another five minutes or so, and I'll show you how you can make one with one of these, and I'll read through. Um, some of the comments while I'm doing it. So these you can buy off Amazon. I've linked them in the description box of my pom-pom wreath tutorial. So if you want to get hold of one of these, the delivery will be delayed at the time being. So um, you could pop your order in potentially and get it you know, for a few weeks time, or maybe just hold off and wait until the situation improves and you might be able to um, order some of these. These are dead simple. So you just open it up like that, and then you wind it around each half. So Denise is stuck at home for three weeks already, living on your own. I hope you're doing all right. I hope you're managing to keep yourself busy. And three weeks is, yeah, that's a long time, isn't it? I think we're all gonna be in for quite some time at home. So I am trying to think up lots of ways um, that you can all keep busy and we can all stay positive. <laughs> Jane says, Houston, we have a pom bomb. Vanessa was cooking. Oh, a wreath to eat sounds like a lovely idea. Yeah, you could go for some really nice, maybe pastel colours, and then maybe add a few little decorative eggs around it in amongst the pom poms, maybe, or some little, do some little Easter chicks with these, couldn't you? So maybe if you've got children, or if you just fancy doing it yourself, you could make some of these in yellow and maybe add some little cardboard feet and a little um, beads or something like that for eyes and maybe just put a triangle of cardboard on them for a beak. Just scrolling through. I did actually cut my own hair, so I've already had a little go at it, but I just go on with a grade four, so I'm trying not to go too dramatic, and I feel like if I just keep on top of it, did it myself, bit of, and it was fine, but I don't want to go any um, shorter than that, so I feel like that's when you'll start to notice where it doesn't match up properly. So I'm just whizzing round like that. Hello from Nazima Wolverhampton. Could you do a video on A-levels, revising and degrees, et cetera, if you don't mind? Ooh, I'll have a think on that. Um, maybe if you haven't already, check out Jack Edwards' channel because he does lots of brilliant study videos and he is fab and that's his main thing. So if you haven't already watched any of his, I definitely recommend that you do. So that's that bit. Close it and then we're going to whiz around the other side. So we're going to just start winding on this section. I'm knitting a sausage dog. That sounds brilliant. Tag me in a picture. I would love to see it. Pom-pom garland. That's a good shout, Pauline. Yes, absolutely. So we could string some of these along a garland. That would be lovely. Could you do a video for the Easter chicken? Oh, the Easter chick. Yeah. Yeah, why not? If I've got any wool in a yellow colour. Yeah, I have. Let's have a go at that. 
you could cut them in a shape of an egg with the cardboard. Oh, that's a good shout. So, so make pom pom. Yeah, pom pom. No, egg shaped pom poms. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I've only had a sip, I promise. Let's have another little sip. Let me know what you're drinking again if you've got, if you just joined us. Oh, that's delicious. I cannot wait to share with you what I made on Friday. Jack Edwards is really good. Yeah, excellent. Oh, it's Luke that um, was at university. I don't, are you talking to Luke in the comments or are you talking to me? Um, it's Luke that was, um, I didn't actually go to uni. So yeah, I just did my work experience and worked my way up the ladder. But um, yeah, Luke's got lots of videos on uni as well. So, so that's more his bag. Right, so we're nearly there with that. Seen some floral pom-poms on Pinterest. You make the flowers and leaves using different colors in one pom-pom. Ah, -pom. Oh, excellent. Yeah, so you can um, add different colors, can't you? So you could stop, do a section, then start to add a different color, you could do different layers. Yeah, that's a really good idea, actually. Why didn't I think of doing that on the live? Never mind. Let me know if you've got any ideas of what you'd like me to do on the next live that we can do together. So now we just close that off and we're going to cut round this piece here, all the way around that. Oh, thank you, Vicky. I'm glad that you enjoyed the come dine with us. So yeah, we will be back on Friday at 5 p.m. Pepsi Max and the popcorn. That sounds fabulous, Cat. Nice combo. Have you got sweet popcorn or have you got salty popcorn or is it something else would love to have a drink with you cheers maggie we'll have a little drink now cheers everybody where are you oh where's the camera there <laughs> i'm not this is the laptop that you're on it's i'm not used to this mm. <coughs> hello mike in los angeles hello paul oh Hello to Newfoundland. Okay, you're saying hello to each other. That's very nice, I love that. Oh, my teeth are still intact, Marie, just about. But honestly, it's, yeah, I would recommend getting dental insurance before you make that base. Just don't go for the caramel digestives. So we're just trimming around that. So that's opened all that up. <laughs> gone from vodka to tequila it's the only way to save the pom-pom i hear you i know sometimes when these diys go wrong you've just got to do what you've got to do hello ruth hope you're doing really well hello susan oh thank you very much it's nice that you watch so you watch all of them thank you very much wood turning i have just trying to do things with what I've got around the house. I don't know what would I need for that. I'm not sure I'd be able to do that one at the moment, just because of um, the restrictions that we're working with. But maybe in the future, that'd be a fab thing to do. I feel like Dainty did a course in that, you know. I think she did. Salty popcorn, sneaky chocolate, love it. Chocolate biscuits. And what's everybody going to be watching this evening? What have you got? planned if you're watching something later on. So we're just going around with the wall now. So I'm going to double this round again. And just check I'm up to date. I'm up to date with your comments now, so that's fab. So there we go, so we'll pull that round. Oh, guys, can you hit the thumbs up for me if you haven't done so already? That would be really kind. And if any of you are watching and you haven't already subscribed, there's over 50% of people watching my videos that aren't subscribed to me. And if you would subscribe, that would be lovely. Really helps me out. But um, yeah, no worries if you don't want to, obviously. But if you um, could, that'd be fab. And do hit the thumbs up. Thank you, loads of you have just done it. I've just seen it. Oh, it's jumping. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It just helps um, YouTube know that the videos are there and it helps just push them up a little bit so other people get to see them. In the algorithm, I've been doing my learning about um, the technical side of all of this. So there we go. So I'm gonna, that's that. Thank you so much for the thumbs up. That has jumped. Thank you. Oh, wow, there's a lot of you watching. I didn't realize I go shy now. Okay, so that's that. We're gonna open this up. 
Let's see if we can get that to 200 thumbs up now. We've gone to 186. It's climbing. Thank you very much. Right, so we'll open that up. Yay, we've hit 200 thumbs up. Thank you so much, guys. That is fab. So this, as you can see, is a bit of a neater method. You don't get the wastage. So that is why I do think these are worth the money. And they're only a few pounds from Amazon. So there is the link in that video. I'll try and link it in this one once I've come off as well, if you do want to try and get hold of some of these. But as you can see, that just straight away makes a better shaped pom-pom. We just need to trim that off a little bit, a little bit of excess. So we can compare the two. That was the coffee again. I've got to stop leaning on this tray because it's going to flip up and I'll get a face full. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Please don't send me any money though. Thank you so much, guys. I'm going to donate that straight to the NHS, but please don't send me any money. Honestly, just you watching is really plenty. That is really kind. Um, how do I say your name? Naila, I think it is. Thank you very much, that's really kind, but please don't send me any money whatsoever because just by watching, you really help me out. And yeah, that'll be going straight to the NHS as well. Okay, so there we go. That is that one. And this is the, uh, the Lou Roll method. So I, I do prefer the ones with the pom-pom makers, but yeah, let me know what you think. Right, I'm just gonna catch up with your comments. And I'm going to let you go and I'm going to stand up and get the blood back into my legs. So what have we got? You can get them in Poundland as well. Oh, you can do. They're slightly smaller, aren't they, the ones in Poundland? But yeah, absolutely. And if any of you can't find them in there, in my Poundland, they are where all the, there's a very thin rack which has got the knitting needles and a few sort of sewing bits on it, usually at the end of the aisle, which is kind of something that you would bypass. So you might not spy them straight away. And they're really small, but yeah, well worth the pound um, if you do have a pound down near you and you can get to it at the moment. I think pound vans are still open at the time being. So if you are going in there for any essentials, you can perhaps pick some up while you're in there. Right, I'm just gonna quickly squiz through the... Comments. <laughs> it's hard to read and um, chat to you at the same time. I've got fluff on my nose. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. It's really made my day. It's so nice to chat to you all on here. Yeah, I think the pom-pom maker does rule um, Jay, to be fair. But I just want to make just one that everyone can have a go at as well. So, so you've got the options. Oh, Twin Peaks, I am missing Twin Peaks in my life. One of the first things I will be doing when I get out of this situation, when we all get out of this situation, is having a really good look around Poundland. <laughs> I do miss that. Hello, um, to LaBelle. Hello, Louise, as well. Hope you're doing really well. And let me know um, if you make some of these yourselves. I'd love to see how you get on. So yeah, I hope you have a lovely evening, whatever you're up to. Okay, a few of you are saying that you tagged me on Instagram, that's fab. So what I'm going to do when I jump off this is I'm going to be sharing on my Instagram stories anybody that's tagged me in any photographs over there. So do tag me in your pictures. Mr. Carrington, it's the word Mr. M-I-S-T-E-R Carrington is my Instagram. Give me a little follow if you haven't done so already. I'm always up for a chat over there. And then I've got my home account as well, which is Mr. Carrington Home. We're 100 of getting to 10K on there, which means I'll have the little swipe up thing so I can swipe up to nice things that I spy in the shops for you or swipe up to videos that I think you'll like. So another 100 and we'll have that, which is fab. So hopefully see you over there. And do tag me in your pictures. Hashtag uh, Mr. Carrington DIY, we'll call it. And I'll share any um, of those on my Instagram stories or I'll retweet any tweets as well. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the live. I'm going to wrap it up. Um, thank you so much for tuning in everybody. Um, let me know how you get on if you do try the sort of more traditional methods or if you have a go with the um, pom-pom makers. Um, I'd love to see how you get on with those. And um, if I've got anything else to tell you, we didn't even need the emergency banana. So we did all right for the first live. I've done one live before. That was a couple of years ago. So it's been a while. But I really hope that you enjoyed it. And yes, so I will be back. 
I think my next video is going to be Friday. So Friday, 5 p.m., we are kicking off Come Dine With Us and we're kicking that off around at Luke's. So make sure you head over to Luke's channel and do subscribe to him. Hit the notification bell um, so you don't miss the video. Kick it off there at Luke's. We're coming back to mine for the main course and you can see what I burned. You can see how to make the cocktail and then we'll be heading round to Kate's for dessert. We'll see how she got on with those meringues. <laughs> I think there was a couple of attempts. <laughs> so that'll be fun to see how that's all gone. And then, um, oh, back to cleaning. Oh, well, try to make your cleaning fun. I always put a playlist on when I'm cleaning and that puts me in a good mood to get on with it. Need more time with you here. So I'll try and do some more lives. So um, you can keep the comments going, I think, on this. And do feel free to comment on the video and let me know what lives you would like to see. Um, and I'll try to come back um, another evening at the same sort of time and we can do another thing together and hopefully um, make something else. Or maybe we can bring our pom-poms and make something with them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Any ideas would be much appreciated. Good luck with your coursework, Yuki Cookie. Feeding the cats, Mandy. Excellent. <laughs> okay guys thank you so much for watching do click subscribe if you haven't done so already give this a little thumbs up thank you so much for the thumbs up it's jumped up again that is fab um i'm gonna get on with um tidying this mess up it does make a mess that process um and then um yeah i'll catch you on friday so thanks very much i'll head over to instagram now so if any of you want to pop over there as well i'll be chatting on instagram i don't know how to stop this <laughs> it's gonna be awkward isn't it I'm just like sit it out or try to find the end stream button i'll have a quick sip of the um quick sip of this we'll say cheers everybody thank you so much for tuning in mm. oh, i've got mint in my mouth i didn't put it through the strainer which um <laughs> is why it looks like pond water keep going haha mm. 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 okay Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you over on Instagram now. If you want to pop over, we'll have a chat over there. Bye. Yes, I want to end it. Awkward. <laughs>